Internet penetration level in Nigeria is set to triple over the next 18 to 24 months, with a new undersea cable linking West Africa to Europe, increasing access to firms and households. Main One Chief Executive Funke Opeke, a telecoms engineer, said she expected internet access penetration to increase to 35 to 40 percent from around 11 percent, as more people in Africa's most populous nation utilize technology to improve their operations. She said broadband usage would mirror mobile phone usage, which has around 50 to 60 percent penetration levels. And if you think of all of the students in tertiary institutions gaining better access to the internet, if you think of government, both at the federal, state and local government levels, uh, migrating towards e-government, um, leveraging ICT more and having connectivity. If you think of businesses, including the small and medium enterprise sectors, which really are not um, fully automated in terms of ICT today and not really leveraging technology, um, if access now becomes more Access, you know, access now becomes more available and prices within reach, uh, then all of those groups tend to benefit and would enable the attainment of a 35 to 40 percent number, which we believe will have significant impacts on the economy. Main One's cable will close the technology gap between Nigeria and other parts of the world. The cable, which has a capacity of 1.92 terabits, can accommodate 1 million MP3 downloads and 100 million voice calls per second. South Africa's capacity is 1.28 terabits. Opeka said the bulk broadband capacity provider had contracts with major telecom firms in Nigeria like South Africa's MTN, India's Bharti Airtel, Etisalat, Tigo and Ghana, internet service providers and some multinational. It had also started extending its services to Togo. What we note about statistics coming out of this market is a high degree of inaccuracy or imprecision, especially because there's such a large informal economy. Uh, so we actually believe affordability and substitution effect is quite high. Opeke added that Nigerian government has a role to play in ensuring affordable internet access to the country's masses. We are also engaging policymakers on some of the policy guidelines that we think would, uh, if implemented, further help towards the acceleration of that, particularly with regards to the opening up of national backbone networks and infrastructure and making that available at a competitive price so that the cost or the price of getting capacity from Lagos to Abuja, for example, no longer exceeds our price in getting it from Lagos to London. It costs 600 US dollars per megabyte to get connected from Lagos to London compared to 1,100 US dollars to get connected from Lagos to Abuja. The main one cable company launched a 7,000 km fiber octa cable in partnership with US firm Tyco last year, which runs from Portugal to Nigeria and Ghana, and also branches out to Morocco, the Canary Islands, Senegal and the Ivory Coast. The cable can deliver more than 10 times the broadband capacity of the South Atlantic Terminal, or SAT-3, Nigeria's sole existing undersea cable, and 20 times the entire satellite capacity of sub-Saharan Africa. Today we're still in a market where, to be honest, we're only scratching the surface. Demand is insatiable um, and really more people want what we have. So the, the first lesson is it's truly validated the demand and the need um, for internet and broadband connectivity in this market.